streetlights are used to control traffic, like cars and buses at junctions. A junction is where two or more roads meet. Here, there's four roads that meet together and lots of different lanes, so it can get quite noisy. Traffic lights are important because they help traffic all travel in different directions through a junction safely. They do that by telling the traffic when to stop and when it's safe to go. Do you know what colour means stop? That's right, it's red. Can you see? The traffic light is red now. But what do you think happens next? It's changing colour. Look, the traffic light turned green. And green means that it's safe to go. And there, off goes the traffic. But did you notice another colour? That's right. In between the red and the green, there's an amber light. The amber light tells you to get ready to stop or get ready to go. So how do the traffic lights change to keep the traffic flowing so that all the cars can get to where they're going? Come with me. This is a traffic control centre, and it's where traffic lights are controlled and monitored in a city centre. Look at all of these screens showing roads and traffic lights and junctions. It's so busy, and there are so many roads. Traffic lights are controlled by computers, and the computer tells each traffic light how long it needs to be red, when to change to amber, and how long it needs to be green. It's called the traffic lights cycle. But what is a traffic light cycle, and how does it work? I think we need to take a closer look. At a junction, there is a set of traffic lights for each road. The roads coming from the left and right see a red light, so they have to wait. Traffic coming from the top and bottom roads see a green light at the same time. That means it's safe for them to go. The traffic can go straight ahead or can turn left. It can also turn right, but it has to wait until the traffic coming in the opposite direction has passed and it's safe to turn. Next, the lights on the roads going from the top to bottom turn amber, then red to make the traffic stop. Then the cars travelling on the road going across see red and amber, then turn to green, so it's their turn to go. They can now drive straight on, go left or wait to turn right. And the whole cycle starts again to keep the traffic flowing nicely all day long. Wow, it's really clever, isn't it? Shall we see how a junction works from up high? I've got my special steady camera, and a steady camera means that the picture will be smooth and steady even when I put the camera high in the air. <laughs> oh, that is so high! <laughs> Look at the junction all the way down there. Can you see the traffic moving up and down the road? That's because their traffic light is on green. Ah, now look. The traffic going up and down has now stopped because their traffic light has turned red. So now it's the turn of the traffic going across the junction. That means their light has turned from red to red and amber and then green. Away they go. That was brilliant. Now, let's have a go at driving through the junction. First, I'm going to drive straight on across the junction. I've put a special camera on the front of the car so we can see more clearly. The lights have turned red, which means we need to stop. And now the lights are green, which means I can go ahead safely. I'm going to turn left at the junction. The light is green, so I can go. OK, last go. Let's make a right turn. Remember, before turning right, I have 
to wait until there's no traffic coming from the opposite direction. Thank you.